Hey, how's it going, ladies? Bruce is on Bobby Six. Killer, welcome back to Knights and Bikes. This is time for us to explore this castle that we finally, finally made our way to. The treasure should be here. Hopefully. And then we'll be walking out with all the treasure we could possibly eat. And then we can save the caravan park. Or whatever. I'm more here for the adventure than the end goal. <laughs> Just gotta find the doorbell. Uh oh. Castles don't have doorbells. How about this? <laughs> yeah. That's a terrible doorbell. Please stop. Oh no. Those traitorous knights will gnaw on their bones. Uh oh, it's the fridge magnet monster. Back off your freaking sword, asshole. Swords are such jerks. Damn, we're getting hurt out there. We need a high five to fix this up. Ha, <laughs> we're stealing your treasure. Oh, crap. Now I keep in the mist while you finish him off. High fives. Gonna be our treasure now. Lucky we had like 50 million band-aids for that. So we got pretty hurt there for for the moment. There's just so many band-aids around, we're just like stocking back up already. They really didn't want anyone getting inside. A powerful weapon, the likes of which I've never seen before. The, t the toilet plunger, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> it's pretty radical. It's pretty radical. Oh, here we go. Another one. Hit it up for us, girly. Or not. Oh, it's just besploring. Jeez. Pop it open. Ah, curses. Yeah. A cacophonous blast! Thanks. <laughs> the big dinner! Where the knights ate their pizza and celebrated burying the treasure. They threw the leftover bones on the ground for their dogs. Why do they have bones in their pizza? Don't you remember? This is where all the knights died. Oh. Yeah. I was looking forward to seeing their skulls and bones. Now I feel sad for them. What a bad party. It's like the birthday party I had when I was six. Well, everyone died there. Conan <laughs> Lantagloss bathed on my cake and everyone went home early. Gross. Oh, my brothers in arms, what fate befell you all? What did you do? Why did you wake the curse? They must have been having a good party before it went wrong. They would have all been so, so happy. And then they just all died and went rotten. Let's keep moving. I don't want that to happen to us as well. Yeah, their treasure must be close. We need to find that before escaping. Pig. Hmm? Who was this? 
Lord Kenwin Foxhole. He took us to the highest point on the island and first spied this ruin. A ruin that could garrison and make our home. Safe from invaders and thieves, he was an excellent falconer. And it was the keyed eye of his mighty bird that led us here. Ha, huh, just like we did too. So our falcon was even better. And a goose. <laughs> even better and also a goose. Hey pig. The treasure must be close. Really, really close. How do we get rid of that? Can we set it on fire? Oh, hello. Cool hat. Oh, you look awesome. Comfy bedroom. Good place for them to put up all their posters. I think it's stuck. Cool, I've always wanted a bunk bed. Pillow fight! <laughs> what is the point of this place? It's just a treasure room, is it? The bed's tipping! Oh god! Um... Whoops! A secret passage! Do you know what that is? Yep. Skull juice. No poison. Looks deadly. Cool. Well, it's lucky we left. It was left hidden away back here. It's a bit sus. The knights were all poisoned? By who? By the townsfolk. That's why the curse happened, yeah? Probably. Secret passages are the bestest. Agreed. Hey, piggy. That is a big pile of hay. Fire? Come sit here by the fire for a minute. This is the first time I've felt warm since being in your caravan, Melza. Hey, why is it still burning after all this time? Hmm, happy memories of our roaring fireplace and the preparation of many a fine banquet. Those were the best times here. After a day's hunting, we'd return here to prepare our feast. A lovely, big, plump and juicy, freshly pucked, carefully seasoned, deliciously tasty. Stop, you're scaring honkers. Don't worry about him, Captain. Come, let's see what else we can find here. Hmm. Can I put this in the fire? I really want to burn it. Is that good? <laughs> Did I do good? I probably didn't do good. That was probably bad. Hmm. How do we get rid of these freaking hay bales? We need to set fires everywhere. That's the easiest way. Can we go in here? No. And that's where we came down. So there's no point going back that way. I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Ow. Should I put the fire out? Stop standing in it, idiot. Ah, it's a secret passage. Again. Hmm. Open it up, Melza. Thanks, I guess. It didn't actually help very much, but whatever. Oh, there's another one. Hit it. There we go. Through the hole. Bamboozle. Did I break it? I thought that was meant to go somewhere, but it didn't. Ah, oh, there we go. Just keep walking. 
Just keep walking, just keep walking. Holy crap. <laughs> this place is freaking huge. Pull the lever. Oh, okay. So that's how they lit their candles. What is... Oh, okay, I guess I meant to put it out. Maybe not. We need to knock it down. Wait there. I got this. Burn. Oh god, the invisible pigs. At least it's cleared the doorway down there. God. We're so destructive. We just walk into a place and like break everything. Set shit on fire and just break everything. That's how we roll. Out of my way, fool. Nah, that's not stuck. You got this. You got this. Let's go. Now. Probably need to put the fire out down there. <laughs> Let us go. How bad's the fire? Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's gonna take some serious putting out. <laughs> some serious putting out. There you go, got rid of that. That's kind of where we came from though, we don't want to go back that way. But at least we put the fire up. There was another stack of hay over this way, so... I assume... I'm getting sweaty, put the fires out. Dude, I'm working on it. Because you're getting sweaty? Well, frickin' diddums! I'm getting burnt to shit over here. <laughs> Man, we're a regular firefighter around here. They should hire us. For children's parties. Wait, no, for the fire service. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Oh, it's like the armory. Oh, hello. Hello. Pink. Oh, yes. One step closer to the treasure. Let's go. Wish we had our bikes in here. It's quite far. I'd bicycle through this place. I don't care if it's bad man. There's nobody lives here anyway. Gives a shit. <laughs> place is ruined anyway. We we set the place on fire. It's no worse manners than setting a house on fire, is it? Riding through it on a on a bicycle. Your helmet broke. Sorry, dude. Open up, treasure chamber! <gasps> I'm ready! Hmm, nothing. What is that noise, though? There's a noise coming from over here somewhere. Is this new? No? I don't remember this bit. Dude, that guy got super dead. And who's this? Kenwin Calstock, he trained our horses. Wasn't the last one's name Kenwin as well? Such fine beasts those horses were. They took us through pen furzies, woods, marshes and moorlands. You really don't know what it's like to saddle up and ride out with the wind in your hair, adventure in your heart. Oh, we do. Ain't that right, Melsa? Yep. Guess we're going this way. <laughs> Silly goose. This looks like their chest from before. Okay, we're not doing anything here apparently. It's glittery and glowy like it's the place to be though.
Hey, piggy. Oh, crap. That's where we were before. Okay, whatever we need to do is clearly in that room, but I don't know what. Music. No? High five. What the hell are we doing here? I don't know. Alright, what have we done wrong? Horse hooves, yeah? But we can't get in there. Alright, what to do then? If you got a plan, Melza, now would be the time. Oh, hello. Where are these bugs going? Let it rip! Ooh, a hidey hole! We're coming too! Dude, it's so convoluted to get around this place. So convoluted. I'm a coming. Skills. A fine shot! How I miss the feel of the bowstring. Let me bear you both upon my shoulders. Okay. And carry you through the battle. Just as I did to our fallen knights. Are we good? Your legs are super wobbly and weird. Are we going the right way? Are we tanking those arrows like a champ? Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh yeah, we are. Every time I think we're there, there's somewhere else to be. You know? I'm like, oh, we're there. Oh wait, no. Cool, big round table. I'm so excited my head might pop. Yes, indeed. Hope your hood will catch all the brains if you do. If your head pops. And spun their ancient gnarly tunes. Nice. Can you use your plunger on that? Guess not. Never mind. Can we blow on those two at the same time? That'd be pretty handy. How did she get over there? I don't even know how that worked out. Go! Hmm, not loud enough. 
Was that loud enough? Holy Jesus. We did it! Nice big table. What's for dinner? This wasn't for dinner. This was our important planning table. Where we'd form strategies, make alliances, and plot. Nice. I like playing soldiers too. Hmm. And also plot how to use our treasure. Oh, we saving up. Saving up to buy something big with the treasure. If I didn't have to save my home, I'd buy something big with it too. Well, the treasure's value is unusual. It's not just gems and gold. Not just gems and gold? Quite so, and we argued bitterly about how to use its value. It was a... It was... I was thirsty for a fight. I wanted a war. We had funds, our fortress, and our best knights. We could have taken on the mainland, and added yet more to our riches. But my fellow knights were weary. I flew into a rage, and we fought. But I suppose I lost. Mm, yeah, sure looks like it. Okay, cool story, but no more sitting around. we got to find the treasure. We shall continue then, but be warned, the treasure is close. Why be warned? Isn't that a good thing? Like, isn't that what we're after? I'm here for the treasure, goddammit. Wow, ingenious. Even I didn't know that was there. Two switches so it couldn't be opened by a single traitor. Like yourself. A traitor like you. He's a bad man. Why have we got him with us still? I don't like the bad man. No wonder I gave him a bad voice right at the beginning. I didn't realize he was bad, but now I know. Are you trying to trick us? I swear not, but the treasure will protect itself. Oh, is that all? Uh... Dugan. Okay, get off it gauntlet. Jesus Christ. Why are we always fighting these goddamn gauntlets? They are everywhere Like rats Can you stomp this thing for us? Cheers Let's go There's more enemies somewhere Keep an eye out for baddies. There's one. It's the fridge magnet monster. Get him. I'm uniquely equipped to handle the fridge magnet monster better than she is. Because it teleports and range is much better against that. All right, come on. How do I get you? I can't get at you. There you go. <sighs> Die, you big stupid bastard. We've come for your treasure. God damn, it's the fridge magnet monster again. There he is. Got him. Dude, there's just so many enemies. Hitting these ones inside the cages is super hard.
Bro! Thank God! Okay, this is getting too much. Too much! Can't cope! Make it stop! Back! Dear God, get back! This got insanely intense all of a sudden. Like the game was never hard, but all of a sudden it is getting hard. Who let you lot out? There's just an endless supply of baddies. They just keep going and coming, it's like... <laughs> it's like we're playing Left 4 Dead. It's just wave after wave of these bastards. Got them all. Apparently. That was ridiculous. Whoa! Is that your body, Mr. Knight? Who else do you think it would belong to? Yes, tis my old frame. You've no idea how I've missed it. A mighty warrior such as myself should never be forced to scuttle around on the floor. So how come your body and your head are still alive? Usually when a head gets chopped off, it doesn't hop around afterwards without its body. That's a rude question, Ness. No, no, not at all, so the treasure is what's kept me alive. I was the only knight that opened the chest and looked upon it. The others tried to stop me, but it was so beautiful and powerful. I felt its magic soaking into my eyes and face. You got the treasure stuck in your face? Ah, well, as I said earlier, the treasure is not just made of gold and gemstones. The treasure is far more valuable than that. Um, so the treasure is where you can hop around without your body. Yes, quite so. The treasure doesn't separate my head from its home, but it's kept me alive after it was. Kept me alive after my knights ambushed me and stuffed me in that hole where you found me. The very hole we originally hid our treasure in before we built our castle. Wow, so the treasure is like a magic spell. It's a magic treasure that makes you live for ages and ages and ages and ages. Yes, immortal in fact. What an army my knights would have been if only they'd listened to me. Cool. Now be so good as to return me to my rightful place upon my yonder neck hole. I don't think that's a good idea. Because he's uh... He's a bad guy, dumbass. <laughs> Alright, you hold it then, dipshit. Someone needs to go around the other side. Christ almighty. AI, come on, help me out here. I keep saying how you're intelligent. Act like it. Oh, I see. It is the AI that's acting intelligent. I'm acting like a dumbass. You're controlling that thing over to the plat to the pad. My bad. Ding dong. Is that, is that good? I mean, it's not gonna be good. Because he's the bad guy. He's like, the curse. He is the curse. Cool, hop on it, Mr. Knight. Maybe we can ride shoulders again? Piggyback Nessa? But hang on, why are all the chains here? His body was locked up for a reason. You're not trying to trick us, are you, old man? No, Mr. Knight's head is going to take us to the treasure. He can smash through walls and mush up baddies and then we'll win, right? Yes! Ah, well, no. Why not, mister? 
Back before my head and body had been cleft into, it was a mighty warrior, it's true. But I was not a good leader. I stole from my friends and fought my allies. The treasure's magic made me invincible, so I used it to control the knights I should have treated as brothers and sisters. I don't blame them for attacking me and stuffing my severed noggin down the dark hole beneath your encampment. You're a baddie? Sadly, I suppose I was a baddie. I should have stayed loyal to my fellow knights. I've seen the strong bond between you both. You care for each other. You help each other. And together, you're unstoppable. I've learned much from you both, but if I'm reunited with my body, I fear I'll be returned to my old, terrible ways. An awful thing may happen. No point just worrying about that. Let's find out. What are you doing? Unhand me! Why the fuck is she putting that back? I think it's working. All the badness is going away. Curse lifted. We did it. I thought we were going to have to fight him. Not everything is fixed by fighting. I thought you learned that. Ah, but it's sad he's dead now. Gonna miss his mouldy old head. I hope he can make things better with all his knights. Sounds like they did a lot of arguing. A bit like we did at times on this adventure. I think we're all good now. Of course, best friends. I'm glad old Mr. Knight learned stuff from us. I guess sometimes grown-ups do listen. I wish he'd pulled that lever before he went, though. Oh, he's doing it. Thanks, Pickled Knight. Glad you got your hands back. See you later. We did it. Oh, we're here again. Son of a bitch. Dude, we've already been here. Oh, I see. We need to wrap this episode up, but I feel like we're like right, right, right at the end, so... Should we play on? I'm just worried it'll end up like the last episode of Zero Escape, which went for like an hour and a half, and I had to chop it up afterwards. Because I think, oh, we're nearly at the end, and then an hour and a half later, I'm like... My god. <laughs> I can't believe we made it. And the legend was all true. Usually I get everything wrong. You did great, kid. It was really sad before you came along, Nessa. Thanks for helping me. We did it all together. Now let's get this chest open. Open it up! I don't know how! Maybe we need a key. Key. No, don't do this to us now, after all of that. What the hell? How do you do that? Honkers! <laughs> what the hell? You unlocked it! It... is it... is it safe? Of course, it'll make us live forever! There's money we needed. Hang on. What's this on the ground? There's more pages for my mum's book here. My mum must have been here. She's drawn pictures of the treasure chest. You've got to leave it behind. The magic of the treasure is already fading. Wait! If my mum was here, she must have discovered the treasure as well. But she didn't use its powers. Why? She could have been saved by it. She wouldn't have died if she tried to get back. I don't understand. She wouldn't have been able to op 
open it, Demelza. I'm sorry. But we did open it, so come on, quick. No, it's not right. I just wanted to save my home. I don't want magical powers to keep me the same forever. I've already grown up a bit from this adventure. I feel stronger and happier. That's good. I'm glad to hear you say that. Having this adventure with you has changed me, Nessa. I did want to keep things just like they were before my mum died, but it's impossible. I think that's okay. I, I, I don't want some magic that keeps me the same forever. I always remembered my mum. The original treasure finding explorer. But I think I have to find a new home now. For me and my dad. And this treasure isn't going to help with that. I'm sorry. It's okay. That's all I needed to hear. I've got to go. But you're going to be okay, Demelza. Pen Fursy. Rebel. Bicycle Club. <laughs> Forever. Well, that's it, I think. In the end, she learned she needed to let go. To grow up. Thank God Dad's here to save us. <laughs> An astronaut? Dad! Oh, Melzy. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. De Melzer, it's, it's me that's sorry. I'm so glad to have you back. We've been looking all over the island for you. How on earth did you get out on that rock? My friend helped me. And honkers. And some puffins. And the head of a... Oh, never mind that bit. We found all the clothes. And we climbed a mountain. And then the puffins carried us to the castle in the sea. Oh yeah, and I had a magic glove that made me invisible. Oh really? Next you'll be telling me you caused that fire in the theme park. And crushed Mr. Teldinsky's racing car. Ah. Uh, um. Uh, don't worry, I'm sure it was nothing to do with you. And you said your friend helped you the whole, with the whole adventure. Yeah, she's brilliant. She's a spy, I think. She must be very good at being a spy. Very good at hiding and concealing herself. Huh? Don't you believe me? Oh, uh, of course I do. Uh, what an adventure you've been having. I wish I'd been a part of it. I I'm sorry I haven't been around for you. I've been missing the adventure that me and your mum had together. But what I forgot was that you, well, that you are our most precious treasure. The most precious thing left from our journey together. I do miss her, Dad. But I was doing all this for her, and I think she wants me to do some other things now. It was so cool, out on that rock. I know you don't believe the things I saw, but it's given me so many new ideas. I feel a bit older now, and a bit stronger too. I think it's time to build something in a new place. You and me, Dad. And then maybe my friend will come and visit again, when it's all ready. Yes, I'm sure they will, Demelza. You've met Captain Chakravarti just now, hauling you up on that bit of rope. He's going to take us back to the airbase on the mainland. Then we can decide what we're going to do next. Yes, uh, so strap yourself in, Miss Penrose. We're heading for the mainland. And maybe when we land, you'd like to meet my daughter? I think you'd like her. She's a bit of a rebel. <laughs> always looking for adventures. And she's always, always... Riding around on her bike. <laughs> wow.
That's it then. We did it. Alright, well we'll let the credits roll as per usual. There might be an end scene, I don't know. We always hang around for that just in case, but if there's not, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next series.